Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and today we're going to take another look at the history of FPS games. And in the last episode, we covered Doom, the first game to revolutionise the genre. And so today we're going to take a look at one of the very first Doom clones, Heretic. Heretic came out about a year after Doom in 1994, but unlike a lot of the clones from that era, it wasn't just a cheap knockoff. And the reason for this is because although it was technically made by a different developer, Raven Software, it was actually still produced by id Software co-founder, John Romero. The big difference between Doom and Heretic though is that it took the genre in a completely different direction with a dark fantasy theme. And probably the most obvious change because of this is that unlike the regular guns in Doom, in Heretic you get to use a bunch of medieval style magical weapons. The game also included a bunch of other new features never before seen in the genre like the ability to fly as well as look up and down. And most importantly, it also added an inventory system which, along with its theme, helped it ride the success of another emerging genre, the first person fantasy RPG. Now just off topic a bit, one thing I didn't really mention in the last few videos is that at the time it was pretty common for games to be released on the shareware model. And in the case of Wolfenstein, Doom and Heretic, basically what that meant is that the first episode was released for free so that you could share it around with your friends. After that you could mail order the rest of the episodes but it wasn't until a few years later that you could actually buy any of these games in a full complete version. And in the case of Heretic, its full version was actually called Shadow of the Serpent Riders which came out much later in 1996. All Up, this version had the three original episodes plus two brand new episodes which, like the previous games, were split into levels. And once again it followed the same general format where you had to work your way through the level to find a series of keys which eventually led to an exit. Like Doom, it also featured a very similar multiplayer system with both deathmatch and co-op modes playable over LAN or the internet. But once again, like I said in the last video, in 94 multiplayer still wasn't that easy to set up and I honestly can't remember that many people playing it at the time. Now as for the gameplay itself, well like I said one of the most memorable new features in Heretic were the magical weapons. And basically as you can see in this video you get to use everything from magic wands to crossbows and even magical gauntlets. The thing that made Heretic's weapons so different though was the fact that they have a secondary fire mode which is activated with an item called a Tome of Power. And the best thing is about this feature is that not only does it make the guns more powerful, sometimes it completely changes the way they work altogether. Generally speaking though, the Tome of Power most of the time adds in some kind of AoE damage to the weapon which is pretty important in this kind of game. And that's because, well, compared to Doom and probably a lot of the other shooter games from the 90s, it just seems like there's a lot more enemies in Heretic. Because of this, there aren't really that many breaks in the action, which I think makes Heretic feel a bit more hectic compared to the previous games. Which isn't to say that the combat feels any less dynamic though, because there's also a lot of different types of enemies, all with their own unique attacks. But anyway, to finish up, as you can see, Heretic in a lot of ways is as good or even better than the original Doom, but one thing we haven't done yet is put it into context. And the reason this is important is because despite all the things it added to the genre, and despite it being a pretty big hit, it is still often overshadowed by other games. One of the main reasons for this is because only a month or two earlier, Doom 2 had just come out, which as you can imagine, stole most of the spotlight. And not just that, over the next year or so, countless other Doom clones would also flood the market, including other massive hits like Dark Forces and Duke Nukem 3D. Bearing this in mind though, still to this day, the most surprising thing is that Heretic is actually still just as fun as it was 20 years ago. And I mean, obviously the graphics and sound are pretty dated now by modern standards, but generally speaking, I think it still hooks you in. With that being said though, if you are someone who can't live without 1080p then don't worry because like you can see in this video, you can run it with an emulator like GZ Doom. And the best thing is, whether you want these modern features or just the old school experience, either way you can pick it up for free on most abandonware sites. 
But anyway, guys, I think that just about brings you up to speed with Heretic. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.